is a Monday morning. It is 10 a.m. <laughs> Um, finally got out of bed, got my stuff together. Last night was rough because I got four hours of sleep the night we got home from Vegas because we got home by like 4.30 in the morning. By the time I showered, got into bed, it was like five. I had to be up at eight. By the time I got up, it was probably like 8.45 um, because I had to shoot at 11. I'm really quick, just shoot, just um, stuff in my portfolio around for about two hours that morning which is probably not the best idea to do, but whatever. It got done and I was fine. But then all day yesterday was just like a complete struggle of just being tired, like on the couch, in and out of naps. And it was just, I felt like it was the most unproductive day ever because I really wanted to go to the gym, but it just, my body was like, no, screw you. So anyways, last night I finally got to bed. I got, gosh, I think like eight, nine hours of sleep. So I'm feeling great, but my back is killing me today. It is... It is hurting like all right here. And I know it's because I drove to and from, I drove the car to and from Vegas. So it's four hours, eight hour road trip, which does not feel good for your body at all. So right now, um, before I head to the gym, I'm going to call up my peeps at a Massage Envy. And let's see if they have anything available. Hi, Cody. No, thank you. But I was calling to see if you guys have anything, any one hour appointments for massage available tonight, tomorrow night, or Wednesday. Great. So I will see you tomorrow night, 8 o'clock for the hour with our therapist, Gwen. Awesome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye bye. Well, won't you look at that? I think you guys watching gave me really good luck because I've never, ever, ever been able to book an appointment last minute with them. This works out fabulously. Okay, so now I'm just gonna get my pre-workout ready. <laughs> Master. Yeah. So I usually just do 10 minutes for on leg day and I'll show you guys. So 10 minutes on, oops, I'll do it on level 9 or 10. Um, so usually I try to climb at least a thousand stairs in a regular session but when it's a leg day session I'll only do strictly 10 minutes on level 9 or 10 and that usually burns me about 100 and so calories. So that way I still have energy to go do legs. I'm not trying to burn out on cardio first thing. This is just strictly to warm up, get loosened up. I like day, so now we're gonna go hit the machines. All right, so I'm gonna do voiceover from here since I was filming by myself at the gym on my iPhone. So that's why all these shots are gonna be from the floor, but you guys are totally gonna to see what I'm doing in all of them, so it works. So first I'm gonna start off at the pulley machine and I'm gonna be doing some squat pulls. So as you can see, I'm using the rope attachment. You can totally use the metal bar here, but I really like using the rope one because you just have a little bit more flexibility with the pullback and it's definitely a lot more comfortable on the hands and the arms uh, instead of having something just solid and metal there. So all you gotta do is just squat down as low as you can go, keep the knees back behind the toes, get your butt down as low as possible while keeping your back straight, and then you're just going to come back up really straight and not even just standing up straight because you're gonna be coming up at an angle, which I wish I could show here, but I didn't. But I'm not standing up completely straight. I'm just more like kind of leaning back but just make sure when you're doing that, you're in a straight line backwards, if that makes sense. And then you just squeeze those shoulder blades together. So I do that about 12 to 15 times. 
and then a short quick break and right after that I get down on the ground and super set it with donkey kicks so if I did 12 squats I'm gonna do 12 donkey kicks on each leg and with these it's not about speed it's about just slow contractions so just really focus on squeezing the butt cheek up at the top it's gonna hurt it's gonna burn but that's exactly what you want this to do and then I'm gonna switch over to the other leg as well which you guys will see here in just a minute so I do this super setted set three times. So after I'm done with donkey kicks, I'll rest for a minute and then I'll increase the weight on just onto the next notch of the, of the weight machine. And then I'll do it again 12 to 15 times. So I do that three times through. This is a really good start on working the full body and especially targeting those glutes. Next, I'm gonna go into weighted pulley leg lifts. So I'm gonna use this attachment here. Hopefully your gym has one too, they are the best. And all I'm gonna do is brace myself and I'm just gonna lift my leg back. And I know you can't see it here, but I am almost parallel with the ground. So when you lift your leg, it's gonna be kind of parallel with the ground or lift it as high as you can. You're really concentrating on squeezing those glutes and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. I do about 12 to 15 reps and I increase the weight a notch on every single set that I do. I'm gonna do this three times and you are not super setting this one with anything. After that, I'm gonna go over to the leg press. I'm pressing about 110 in the first one and then I just increase my weight to 120 and then 130. And these ones, I do about 20 quick motion leg presses, as you can see. I am really targeting just my glutes in this. Like that is exactly where I'm feeling it and that's where you wanna feel it in this motion. And this is specifically done to do just fast targeting because it's one of the last parts of this workout and I'm just really trying to exhaust my butt cheeks, which it definitely does. <laughs> and from that, I superset that after taking a little mini break into just standing lunges so i do about i think i do about 15 on each leg and doing that after leg press is a killer it's like the first set you're okay and then the next set you're just like dying and it really burns your quads and your legs and your butt and it's just a really good way to superset so i do this so after this i'm done with these lunges i'll rest for a little bit just like to regain my energy and then I'll do that again three times through with that one all right just wrapped up my leg day workout I hope you guys like that I totally filmed that on my iPhone by myself today so that's why it's not the best quality but you guys get the gist of what I do for a 40 minute workout uh, that's all I had time for today but now we're gonna head home and I gotta get ready because I literally have 20 minutes to get ready to head out the door for my appointment in Valencia and then also heading straight to my shoot. All right, so I literally showered in like two seconds right now. I grabbed some more pre-workout, my heels, and I'm heading out the door. I have to catch a conference call in literally two minutes. So it's been a hectic day. Awesome, great. Thank you guys. Great meeting you too. Sounds great. Talk to you soon. Take All right. Care. Thanks, you too. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Yeah, uh, why don't I uh, hang up and just have you back in? Bye. All right, so just got done with my quick conference call. Uh, whew. So that's exciting. I met. That was with the guy that I met on set for the Active 5 shoot that I did last week. Um, which is awesome because that's what happens. You go to a shoot and you network. And before you know it, you know, you're networking. And now this guy was actually a talent on set. And he has his own fitness production company and products. So now he's looking to hire me for a shoot for his his fitness stuff so that's pretty cool uh, so we just kind of solidified some details with that um, going over pay structure and a shoot date so we're looking to shoot hopefully this weekend because they're trying to do a January launch everyone's trying to do January launches for their fitness things because obviously it's the hottest time of the year for everyone trying to get in shape and everything which is really cool 
Um, so he'll be shooting down, probably we'll be shooting in San Diego, hopefully this weekend. That's the plan right now. But we're gonna get final details on that shortly. Um, but yeah, I am I am feeling so amped from this pre-workout right now. I'm like shaking inside. I totally took way too much today. All right, so I just got done with my dermatology appointment with my girl Nikki. Now I'm heading back down to LA, back down to Hollywood pretty much, and heading to my shoot, which I'll be making it just in time. As you can see, my forehead is just like, ugh. Oh. Yeah, it was not the best idea to go in today for dermatology before <laughs> my shoot, but you know what? This shoot was one last minute, and two, I had to go in today because I'm leaving LA next week to go home. I'll be home for two weeks, so I needed this appointment today. But other than that, it's just been a crazy hectic day. I'm still feeling so jittery from all the caffeine and pre-workout. I definitely had way too much today, so my talking is probably like insane today. And I can't, it's almost like you can't even think straight because your brain is just like, uh. <laughs> shoot and we could not get a lot of behind the scenes footage I apologize for that because it was a lingerie shoot so a lot of it was kind of I think a little too much for YouTube <laughs> but it's all it's all good it's all very clean nice so you guys will just have to stay tuned to insta pictures which I'll post but yeah so now I am going to be heading home I'm starving time to eat <laughs> So I just got home from my shoot. I am beyond starving. Today has been so crazy, so insane. I have definitely not had enough calories whatsoever, especially being leg day. It's probably one of the worst things I could do is not eat because it's almost like, not a waste, but it is because you're, I burned so many calories through leg day that if I don't replenish when I'm burning, it's just not gonna develop into anything. My muscles not are not gonna grow. Um, so yeah, because I went from the gym to my um, my derm girl, then to the shoe, and then at the shoe, we were just shooting this whole time, and I literally just had a snack as I was leaving. They had food there, but we were just like in and out, in and out, change, changing outfits, blah, blah, blah. And then I finally home, and it is now, I think, 6, 6.30ish probably. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just like beyond starving, um, and I'm going to cook dinner. So tonight for dinner, I am going to have, I'm cooking up two chicken breasts and then I have some leftovers for tomorrow. I am just like starting up the oven right now because sweet potatoes are definitely on the menu tonight. I need them. And then also I have some asparagus as well. So it's going to be a nice hearty dinner, which is going to take a while. I hate, the only reason that like... Ugh, I hate about cooking sweet potatoes is they do take so long in a sense because you have to wait for the oven to cook and then they're in there for a long time and it's like, ugh, I want to eat them now. But 
I really don't feel like quinoa tonight. I'm really just like craving sweet potato because my body is just so freaking hungry right now. So I'm gonna make it work. And then shoot, if, it, if anything, I'll eat chicken and asparagus and just like eat the sweet potatoes later, um, which will be fine because that will be a good substitute. Instead of eating chips, I'll just carve out on sweet potatoes. It'll be delish. Delicious barbecue chicken, sweet potatoes all mashed up, and asparagus with salt and garlic. So I'm going to go enjoy my dinner now and then relax and shower. And I'm watching the first episode of This Is Us, highly recommended by some friends and everybody on freaking social media. So that's gonna go down because I've run out of all of my shows. So I'm going to go enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, good night.